Good evening, everyone. I am proud and honored to present the Newmark Journalism Award to someone who needs no introduction in this room. A journalist who knows as much about the business of the news industry as he does a great story and turn of phrase. An acclaimed author whose expertise in political theory is as rigorous and as thorough as his acumen in all things baseball. His fundraising abilities as mighty as his legal skills. A towering leader in the field who also generously volunteers his time, his formidable intellectual capital to help others in the quest to, re to reinvent journalism for our times. My friend and colleague, Dick Tofel. Some people think that he or she is the smartest person in the room. Well, Dick is the smartest person in the room. From the inception of ProPublica to the current day, Dick is the mainframe of this amazing institution. He spearheads the entire fundraising and business operation. He literally reads and vets every article, every headline, every tweet storm, every press release, every legal matter, all analytics, all contracts, all collaborations. <sighs> Dick's partner in crime, Steven Engelberg, uh, who wishes he could be with us tonight, told me, and I quote, not a sparrow fell that wasn't reviewed by TOEFL. For example, in a collaboration with This American Life, Dick was vetting the lyrics of a famous, popular, a famous Broadway composer. He became concerned that a multi-billion dollar company might take umbrage if, he used, if they used one specific word in the song. So Dick found a new word that not only had the same meaning, but had the same syllables so as not to disturb the song's harmonious brilliance. Everyone who knows Dick knows that he is not known for his reticence or his loss for words. But there's always a first time. As told to me by Steve, he and Dick were pitching ProPublica to a potential funder. This funder said, I like what you are doing, but there's a big flaw in your business model. What are you going to do once you've gotten rid of all the corruption? <laughs> this may be the only time ever that Dick Tofel was positively speechless. There's only one thing that would keep Dick away from his work, and that is opening day at Yankee Stadium. And the only thing that kept him away from opening day at Yankee Stadium was winning the Pulitzer Prize. But what's most important to Dick is his family. His wonderful wife, Julie, told me that one of the happiest and proudest days of his life was when his daughter brought Dick's grandson, Ozzy, to the office. And Ozzy, all of four months old, was wearing a ProPublica onesie that said, we're not shutting up. <laughs> As we say in the old country, Dick was felling. Dick, I want to give you my deep personal gratitude for your friendship, the benefit of your wisdom, expertise, and guidance, and for all you've done to pave the way for a journalism that holds us all to the highest standards while keeping the rest of them honest. It is my great pleasure to present the Newmark Journalism Award to Richard Tofel.